Hey, um, so if you're watching this, uh, this is being recorded on my brand new Canon Rebel um, SL2. Um, I just got it in the mail today, one day early. I expected it to come tomorrow, but I'll take an early package, early birthday gift. Um, so this is being recorded on the SL2. It's not using the built-in microphones. It's actually using a Tacstar, yeah, Tacstar microphone. I got it on Amazon for like, I don't know, 20 bucks. It was really cheap. Um, as much as I'd want a Rode mic, um, they were really expensive and this got a good review, so I bought it. And one of the main reasons why I decided to upgrade from my Rebel T6 to my, um, SL2 is because it had a 3.5 millimeter jack. My T6 did not have that. And it is a DSLR camera. It does get the job done, but um, the audio was just a pain to sync in Premiere. Like, whenever I shot something, I would opt to use um, lavalier microphones, and I bought three of them on Amazon like a long time ago. Um, and so, what I would do is that I would connect the lavalier microphones to an Apple dongle that converted 3.5 millimeter to lightning and it would record audio into the voice notes app and that was just a pain I uh, really hated syncing it in Premiere and it was just really time consuming so I figured I'd just buy this get a microphone an external mic and call it a day um, I actually did invest in a wireless mic system which is in my trunk down here um, which is probably what I'm going to use in the future as well as just a secondary audio source just so I can have more to play with in post um, what else did I get? Um, well, I got batteries. Those are for the mic. Um, and what else did I get? Got something else. Well, this camera didn't come by itself. It came in like a kit. It gave me like a bunch of this additional stuff that I probably won't use. I think half of the stuff the kit gave me, I have like stored away in a, like a cubby hole. But, um, some of the stuff that came with it were, was useful. Um, this has like a like a UV UV filter on it, so it not only like makes pictures look better, um, it protects my lens, so that's pretty cool. Um, yeah, uh, I plan on keeping my T6 and my old vlogging camera, the PowerShot uh, SX170, just because um, I feel like more cameras is better for my upcoming series on my channel, Passion Fruit. Um, I'm actually going to utilize a two camera setup instead of just a single camera setup. Ideally I'd want a three camera setup, but I, don't, I really don't want to like um, juggle around the weird um, the aspect ratios because I think my PowerShot only captures in uh, 720 at max and I know my DSLRs capture at max um, 1080p at 30fps. So I just want it to be like consistent and I just don't have to like deal with that in post, like changing everything. So, um, yeah, um, two cameras allows me to get more variety of shots, more varied shots, close-ups, and um, the audio will be a breeze to sync up. Um, yeah, um, what else? Uh, hmm. I think that's it. Um, yeah, just really looking forward to using this gear. Um, I'm actually in the middle of writing my uh, stuff that I'm going to be using for Passion Fruit. Um, what do I have? What do I have left? Um, all the people I contacted agreed to be in the videos that I'm going to be producing. I'm super excited to film this. It's just a matter of um, execution. And I've never interviewed like people like seriously before, so this will be completely new. But I'm I'm trying my best to ask uh, interesting questions, ones that aren't just like general. Um, I'll, I'll I'll probably ask general questions, but um, I'm I'm more interested in the specifics, so that this interview feels personal. It's not just like I don't know, run of the mill. I guess is the best way to describe it. So um, yeah, really excited to produce this series. Um, I'm planning on it being 10 episodes long, um, at least 10 minutes each per episode. Um, and literally one of the only reasons why I want it to be at least 10 minutes is because of the fucking YouTube algorithm. Um, they promote longer videos, so uh, I think 10 minutes is like the threshold. So um, I think it'll naturally be 10 minutes anyway. Um, like, even if I didn't want it to be 10 minutes, I think it would just land in the 10 minute range. So, yeah. Um, that's where I'm at so far. That's what I'm working on. So, um, yeah. Follow me on Twitter. Um, at the Jarek Bruel. Um, my old Twitter account actually got unlocked 
recently, but I plan on just using the one I have right now, the Jarek Ruel, since, I don't know, just spent the last few months on it, and why go back, you know? Uh, make sure you subscribe, um, as always. Uh, not sure when the first episode will go up, but follow me on Twitter. I'll probably post all the updates there. Uh, follow me on Instagram if you want, at Jarek Ruel, um, Snapchat, at Jarek Ruel. Um, and yeah, that's, that's literally all I have for now. Um, thanks for watching, and uh, hopefully see you soon.